Hey everybody, welcome back to another scripting tutorial in Roblox. Um, we are back here, and we're going to be working with Jimmy again, and we're going to be making it so Jimmy's going to turn transparent again, except it's going to happen when when he's clicked on. So he's going to we're going to be able to click on Jimmy again, um, or not again, we've never been able to do that. We're going to click on Jimmy, um, and he will turn uh, transparent. So... Um, to do that, so we have our empty script here. We're going to be using some scripting plus a little bit of object using. Um, and I'm going to show you how that works. So to make it so that an object is, or so that a part is click clickable, you have to select it and then insert a click detector. So you can just search that, double click it to, and now we have a click detector in here. I'm just going to leave its name how it is. Okay, so now inside Jimmy we have a click detector and a script. Alright, so here we are in the script. And um, I'm going to refer back to when we made, uh, to when Jimmy used to be uh, a kill break. So the first thing we do is we write the function that we need, that we want him to do. Um, we're, we're just going to go um, turn ghostly. And then we don't need to put any arguments in here, and I'll explain why. Um, and then we just put exactly what we want him to do here. We're going to say, hmm, actually, let's do this. So each time we click Jimmy, it's going to toggle between on and off. So, um, like, if, we, if he's not transparent and we click him, then he's going to turn transparent and vice versa. So in order to do that, um, what we need to ask ourselves... Uh, what's going to happen exactly? So if he's transparent, then or if he's not transparent, then he's going to turn transparent. So that's exactly what we say. We just say if, um, and we can say uh, let's say Jimmy. Let's set a variable for Jimmy so we can easily um, easily get him when we want. Jimmy equals script dot parent. This way we don't have to write script dot parent every time. Okay, so now each time we say Jimmy, it's just going to say, uh, yeah, it's going. That's going to be the same as getting the brick. So if Jimmy dot transparency is equal to, um, I don't think I ever showed you this before. In case I haven't, let me explain. Um, if if we want to say, okay, we can say if Jimmy dot transparency equals zero. And when it's zero, then he's going to not be transparent. Um, then we're going to say do stuff. Okay, end. Or let's have an end for the function as well, just real quick. So if Jimmy dot transparency equals zero, we're getting a red line here. That means we're not writing it correctly. If you want to check something, and right now it's trying to set Jimmy's transparency to zero. Um, that's not what we want. That's not what we want. We want to check it. And to, to check it, we just put two equals marks. Let me zoom in here so you can see the script better. Okay, here we go. You have two equal signs um, instead of just one if you want to check for an actual value. Okay. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Uh, if you have any questions, I guess um, I'll explain it later. So, yeah. Uh, now we're going to replace do stuff. I don't know if I ever explained comments e either. It's been a while since I made a video, a scripting tutorial. Tutorial, I mean, if you put dash dash, that's right next to the equals um, button on your keyboard. Then anything after this doesn't matter. The script isn't going to read it. You can put whatever you want, and it'll be just fine. And that's good for like helping yourself remember what's there. Um, all right, so. Now what do we want to do? If he's not transparent, then we want to set his transparency to 1 because transparency uh, ranges from 0 to 1 in decimals. So jimmy.transparency equals 1. Simple as that. Um, okay, so that's it. Now if we want to, uh, let's see, else, then we have else. If you put else, then it's going to say, all right, is, um, or, you know, let's just have this, have it do it as it is. Um, now we have to, 
actually make it so that it happens when we or make it so that the function runs when we click Jimmy uh, when we made Jimmy killable you remember that we said Jimmy dot touched connect uh, turn ghostly or something like that now this is different what we want to do is get the click detector that we put in before I'm going to move over to the click detector in the explorer here uh, you can see uh, it's, it's got a couple properties um, we're just going to keep its max activation we're not going to change its properties at all anyway what we need to do is actually get the click detector so all we have to do is say jimmy dot click detector um, so now now what do we do we say mouse click connect turn ghostly Oops. and this should work now um, let's test it out just to make sure everything is going to work okay and and then I'll explain the code <clears throat> if you press F6 then you will quickly go into play solo okay we're going to click him and now Jimmy disappears he's still here oh <laughs> Jimmy isn't anchored oh well I just heard him uh, he flipped away okay we're gonna anchor Jimmy now okay I'm going to explain this little line here the uh, click detector has an event in the same way that parts do so parts have uh, so like Jimmy dot touched that's the exact same thing as the mouse click click detector okay I hope that makes sense I, I I've been a little out of practice so I'm sorry about that okay so um, I'm gonna show you something if you're ever wondering about an object this might help you explain kinda of what's going on you can say you can go to help up at the top and then click object browser this is a browser that uh, shows you all the objects that can be used for example we can scroll down and find uh, part where is part here it is we can also just press P if we wanted to find it. Say we're up here. I'm going to press key on my keyboard, and it's going to bring me down to the P section. Uh, and I'm going to get uh, parts right here, and then it shows me all of the. These are all of the properties that you can set it. And if we find, we can actually find transparency, which is right here. Um, this shows us everything that we can do with the part. Uh, just to double say that. Uh, and then we also see touched which we used a couple episodes ago when we did I think it was a couple episodes ago when we made Jimmy kill or a kill brick now we're also going to find the click detector let's scroll all the way up to the top press C and then here we are in the C section um, there's click detector right there if we scroll here we got mouse click which is the event that fires when the player clicks the part which the click detector is inside so let's see fired when a player clicks on the parent of parent part of click detector the, the argument provided is always of type player um, oh okay so if we were to go back to our script uh, and put player uh, I just now figured this out. I thought this was mouse. If we put player in here, uh, well, we can actually call this blah, and it's still equal player. Now we can do whatever we want with the player, um, but we don't want to do that now. I'm not going to explain. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Uh, yeah, so that's how the um, that's how click detectors work. That's how you make buttons. Uh, I'll put this code in the description below and yeah now let's do a little bit further and make it so that we can continually click between um, between ghostly and not ghostly and I'm gonna change this to 0 0.5 because then we can still see Jimmy you can actually do just 0 0.5 uh, just for your information but I like to have 0 0.5 it just looks more clean to me somehow so preference thing anyway so 
actually let's keep that there. If jimmy.transparency is equal to zero, again we're just making this more fun by making it so that we can click back and forth, then it's going to make him ghostly. Otherwise, if it's not equal to zero, so if it's um, anything but solid, um, then we can just do jimmy.transparency equals uh, one, or no, zero. Yeah, okay. Um, this is, you know, logical thinking. You just kind of got to figure this out on your own, I guess. Else is pretty straightforward. Um, I don't really need to explain this too much. You can just have else if you want to, you know, um, if, the, if this value is not true, then it's going to continue on and do this little block of code. Uh, let's test it one more time. I'm gonna wait for this to load, and here we are. Okay, if we click this, Jimmy's gonna turn a little bit transparent. Hopefully, you can see that. Click it again, gonna turn solid. Click it again, transparent. Click it again, solid. And we can do this all day for like hours, and then I don't know how that'd be fun, but we can do this, and uh, and just feel proud of ourselves about how we scripted this. So yeah, um, I hope this video has been helpful. Um, I guess if if I get comments saying that we uh, that they people don't understand this, then I'll do another video explaining further about how this works. I feel like it didn't do a very good job at explaining this bottom line, but if you get it, then go ahead and move on to the next video if it exists yet. Of course, it doesn't exist because I'm recording right now, but it will eventually. Um, but yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys think, leave some feedback, and thanks for watching, bye!